Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for a brand new product review. We are taking a look at the Disney Parks version of the Medal of Yavin. Now, if you all recall a few, that was the weeks ago, a few months ago, I had picked this up from San Diego Comic-Con. This was the Twink version of the Medal of Yavin. And although I was overall pretty happy with it, there were a few issues with it. And I wasn't quite sure about the color of the actual ribbon. Now I have come to find out that this ribbon color is not accurate. This is what we do see on the, so to speak, the enhanced versions or the color corrected versions but the actual color of the ribbon is more closely associated to the disney parks version and as you are about to see the actual metal is a hell of a lot more accurate on this one than the toying version i mean even the size alone if i put them next to each other you can see that size difference the thickness is about the same i would say except on the toying version there's this weird little bridge that I guess is used for the ribbon whereas here they put it inside so that right off the bat is telling me how much better the Disney Parks version is and it was actually cheaper I think this one before my magic key discount was maybe 30 or 40 dollars let me see if I have a price tag on here yeah 30 dollars plus a magic key discount whereas this one was I think 50 dollars maybe 60 dollars so I'm pretty shocked at the drastic differences and I'm not quite sure why. I mean, even I mentioned, you know, there were some scratches and inconsistencies with the actual piece here. And just look at the gloss. Well, maybe you can't tell my light is a little bit too bright, but here it's more of like a brushed gold and here it's like a clearer or more metallic and shiny gold. We do have a few scratches here and there, which is fine, but it's a lot more prevalent and noticeable. And plus we have some more brush strokes from the paint here also which really doesn't give off a good good quality item we both have the star wars logos here this one says star wars galaxy's edge with a disney and lucasfilm made in china serial number this one just has star wars and lucasfilm i'm actually surprised lucasfilm let this one go and they claim this one to be a 1-1 scale as well so i'm really not sure why or how this one past any type of quality control hell even again the ribbon being so far off i can tell if maybe it was a darker or lighter shade of brown but to be a completely different color yeah that's crazy so anyway let's put that one aside and get a closer look at this one again this one is absolutely beautiful and the size does make it look more promising of an actual metal actually i'll pull this one back i'd say weight wise they are actually about the same, even though the thickness is about the same. It just, this one feels better in your hand. I think this one, because of the bridge, might have a little bit more weight. But anyway, this review is for the Disney Parks version, so let's focus on that one. Absolutely love the design here. And I love all the grooves and different mold. I'm so glad they didn't like paint any of this or try to embed it into the metal itself. Everything is a lot cleaner. The cuts and corners and edges are so much better on here. And the ribbon sitting inside the metal is very clean. You can kind of, I mean, if you really look, you might be seeing like glue or something there, but I mean, no one's gonna be looking down that way. And again, the ribbon looks just like how we actually do see it in A New Hope. So I'm really glad they focused on that. And the box itself is actually a lot simpler to use and looks better in my opinion. We do have the Rebel Alliance logo on the front. Again, just the price tag on the back. Let me see if I can actually take that off now. Oh, and that came off pretty easily. So look, we have a clean bottom now. And you can actually use this as a good display piece too because the metal rests right here. Actually, let me fold up the ribbon part to make it somewhat presentable so you have an idea of how it will look so you can put that in there and then yeah i'm not going to fold it up too nicely but you can rest it in here i guess on this one you can kind of do the same but the actual mold here is a lot smaller and harder to fit everything here it feels like you have more space to work with on this one and i believe on this ribbon 
yeah, it has Velcro too, which I mean, it's big enough where I don't think you'll need to. I don't know if anyone has that big of a head where they wouldn't be able to fit this on, but you won't be able to adjust the size. You just, uh, one size fits all as long as you can get it around your neck. And I don't believe the other one had any type of, no, yeah, it was just a uh, one piece ribbon on that one. So yeah, super quick, super simple review. I just wanted to come on here to show that off and give you all a fair warning that the Disney Parks version is the more accurate and better and more more affordable version, which I'm still just shocked at. Almost half the price and you're gonna get something more accurate, which again is surprising because a lot of times Disney Parks items or replicas are not that accurate. It's a very hit or miss. One reason why I did not pick up the Mon or the Moncala, but calamari, calamari fun from Moncala, their currency, which it's horrible. And I actually did pick up some uh, Etsy creator independent artist version of that. So it looks a hell of a lot better. But then we have this one, which looks absolutely spot on. And then you have the lightsabers that are all chunky and flawed. And just that's a whole nother story. But yeah, there you have it, folks. The Disney Parks Medal of the Evan. I highly recommend it. Definitely preferred this one over any other version. If you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below thank you all for watching be sure to like my video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future videos